Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. Well, we're going to head back to the RBC Heritage now for some player press conferences. It's, I think everyone loves this event and it's really refreshing for everyone because typically on tour and in major championship golf, it's about a lot of distance and hitting it far and you have a lot of long irons in. And then you come to Harbor Town and it's all about placement and accuracy and you're not hitting many drivers. And so it's, um, yeah, it's a really great, it's a really great week and it's fun and it's kind of classic golf and it's, um, you know, you just enjoy yourself out there. It's it's a fun walk, and you find yourself shaping shots, and so I really enjoy it. I love this golf course. It's a shame I've only this is only my third time here. The golf course is so unique. It's a lot like uh, uh, Colonial in that we play a lot of big and far and hit it as high as you can, and here you're really working it and. It's maddening. There's trees off the sides of the fairway when you're in the fairway that are in your way. So I enjoy the challenge of that. Uh, it's playing different uh, golf courses is one of my favorite parts about getting to travel around on tour. So uh, this is definitely a treat for all of us. I think it's a great golf course. I think it's a lot of fun to play. I think it's very interesting. I think for some people, um, you know, distance debate type people, sh should if they're ever looking at golf course design and how to combat people only trying to hit the ball really far, need to come here and do a, a case study on this golf course because it's really, really good. you got to curve the ball th both directions, and you have to control your distance. You have to control where the golf ball is going. It's not just a place where you can go, go bomb it. I see. I, I just find it really hard to believe that ratings are down. I mean, if you're at the tournament, it's, it's fantastic. I think people that I do know that are watching it um, loved it. I think golf is growing. I think golf sales have grown. And I know golf memberships are growing. So it makes no sense that um, the professional level, that the viewership would be down. And in my thought, is it because everyone's streaming and then people are watching it from different avenues than maybe the normal telecast? So I think that's, in my opinion, a little bit of a skewed stat because it makes no sense that every part of the game is growing but yet the professional level isn't. So that's kind of my opinion on that. What's great about our sport is the competition. That's what I love the most is coming out here and competing. Um, and so if a little bit of the narrative could get shifted back towards that, I think that would be, would be really nice. Like you look at something like March Madness and they're not competing for any, any money or anything like that. There's, I mean, you, you can look at the women's game. You know, the women um, in college now that they're staying four years in school, um, there's there's good rivalries, you know that you have teams pitted against each other year after year, and it's it's really intriguing to watch. And it's not about anything other than um, wanting to witness something great and enjoying you know competition. I'm very hopeful that at some point here soon, uh, we've been shown that we are nothing without those watching us, uh, and they can stop watching us whenever they like. So uh, hopefully, more innovation will go into making their viewing. Pro uh, uh, viewing process a lot more engaging and fun because uh, th that that's why we get to do this. You know, anyone that I know that plays at municipal golf courses or private golf courses that are not professionals, they love golf and they love to consume golf and they're always constantly cheering me on or sending me texts and they know everything I did. So, you know, I'm a small, um, you know, sample size, but from the people that are around me that are my friends, they seem to watch a lot of golf and they also play a lot of golf. There's light at the end of this tunnel for the golf fan. There's innovation uh, possibilities. It's not nearly as this is just that, that this is just what golf looks like and we need to hope people like it. There's ways we can manipulate it a little bit in a good way to gain fan engagement, make it more fun for them to watch. It was, it was r truly all about just what we need to do better as a tour for golf fans to be more inclined to watch. And I think at times where it's easy to just say, well, this is just what golf looks like. And I think that it was nice to see that people have other outlooks on that that are a lot more optimistic. Yeah. Do you feel like it's good for the game to have a dominant force where everyone feels like they're chasing someone? Um, I think it's better for, uh, you know, players like myself because it's challenging us to get a lot better and play better. And I think it just brings the overall 
um, quality of play up significantly when someone is playing that good all the time. I think everyone looks at themselves in the mirror and goes, okay, w what do I need to get better at? Because you feel like you're playing good golf and you're not coming, uh, you're not beating him. So I think it is good. Um, I think it'd be great if we could have multiple guys that are kind of battling it out all the time. And so, you know, I don't know if that's me or if it could be someone else, but I would love for it to be me. And I'm working as hard as I can to try to be that person. I think because of the Tiger era, when he was just running through golf tournament after golf tournament and just annihilating everybody, it was probably more daunting because we had never seen anything like that. Sc Scotty is tremendously talented and a hard worker and, a, I mean, sadly, a better person. Wish I could hate him. But it's not utterly shocking what he does. He just does it over and over and over again. That's amazing. So I feel like he almost makes it seem very realistic that we should do that. He just seems like he's playing on the driving range every day. There's a few spots last year that I remembered being, you know, very difficult places to get it up and down. And when Teddy was kind of taking me around, showing me some of the areas this year, it didn't seem as challenging. I think maybe the conditions were a little softer, you know, this morning than they will be obviously on Saturday and Sunday. And so my memories of the golf course are a tad different than what I felt this morning, but we'll see how the course plays, you know, as the week kind of goes on. Thanks to everyone on the show today for their insights and contributions. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.